Hello grade fours, in math today we're going to talk about two really quick concepts. The first one is fractional parts, the second one is number lines. So let's get right into it. Well, I don't think we've done a word problem with fractional parts yet. Uh, they're not as hard as they sound, so let's just give it a try. So, our question says Bill has five unicorns. Oh, how nice! Two are purple and the rest are pink. What fractional part of the unicorns is purple and what fractional part is pink? So basically it's asking us to tell us how many unicorns are purple or pink using a fraction instead of the numbers like this. So whenever we have a fraction, we have the part that is selected or the numerator over the total or the denominator. So the part selected, that's how many of the unicorns are purple in this case. So how many unicorns are purple? Two are purple. So on the top I'm going to put two. Two out of the group is purple. So two is our numerator. Our denominator is the total number of unicorns. So is that three unicorns or is that five unicorns? Take a minute to think about that. And the answer is there are five unicorns in total. So our denominator is going to be five. There's my fraction. Pink, we're gonna do the same thing. We have the part selected over the total amount. So we know the total amount already. There are five unicorns in total. So I'm gonna put a five on the bottom. The top here is a little bit more tricky though. How many unicorns are pink? It says two are purple, but it doesn't tell us how many are pink. That's some simple math though. If two are purple, the rest are pink, all I have to do is five minus two gives me three. So then my fraction is three fifths of the unicorns are pink. Three out of five unicorns are pink, just like that. So the bottom number is the total amount. The top number is the amount that are the specific thing. In this case, purple or pink. In your question, it might be something different, but that's basically how you do it. Now, number lines, this is uh, just some review work. We've talked about number lines before. There are many different ways to represent a fraction. For example, if I wanted to draw one fourth, one way I could do that is by dividing a shape into four parts and coloring it in. That would be one fourth. Another way I could represent one fourth is with a nice bar like this. If I divide that bar into four pieces and color one in, that is also going to be one fourth. Another way we can represent one-fourth is using a number line. This is sort of like our box here. We're going to have different notches on our number line to represent different parts of the fractions. If we have zero parts of the fraction, we'd have it over here at the zero end. If we have all parts, a full fraction, we're going to put it on the one end over here. So what are my fractions in between that? Well, if I just have one part colored in, I'm going to have one-fourth. If I color two in, I'm going to get two fourths, I'm going to go to three fourths, and then four fourths, just like a regular number line. One, two, three, four, our numbers are all there. If I wanted to show a specific fraction on my number line, let's say I wanted to show where three fourths is, that would look like this, three fourths colored in. Over here, I just put a little dot on the three fourths near my number line. But the question in your textbook doesn't even ask you to do that, it's just asking you to fill in the numbers on your line. So give it a try, see how it goes. All the best grade fours.